Alright guys, so this is your boy Dr. Mena Bright, I'll call you your man Dr. Mena Bright on the DMSI channel. Today I'm bringing you something that is spontaneous, that's why I'm, I'm sure you'll be surprised. The first time that I actually will be um, doing a video in, in this kind of scenario, alright? So I was just driving around and I've been, I've been um, compared to do this video by what I see. It's not because I'm seeing it for the first time, I've actually been... Be, be, be something that's been worrisome to me, something that bothered me, and especially because I am aware that the rate of quackery in, in especially the medical profession around here in Nigeria, not only really Nigeria, even we've had cases of quackery anywhere in the world, but especially in Nigeria, where I practice is quite alarming. And this video is actually meant to like try to protect you so you are aware of the going on and then we can try to protect the people, the public from falling into the hands of, of quacks. Quackery is a huge problem. Of, of course, it's a huge problem. And when we say quackery, we mean when people do things that they are not trained to do or they try to be what they are not. They are not. And then so are they, because people, the public is not aware, they fall victim, they fall their victim. And of course, the, the body in the animals, the complications that arise from quackery is something you don't even wish upon your enemy, right? So we've had people who died because they, they, they were attended to by quacks. We've had people who had life threatening complications. We've had people who had morbidity. When I say morbidity, even though they didn't die, they had to live with complications that, that, uh, that, that impede on, on their livelihood. And so it's, it's a topic that has been upon my mind and I felt I should talk about it. Now, the problem really is that the people you try, try to protect, the public, which is the people that you try to protect from, from falling into quarks, most times are key to creating these quarks, are, are part of those that makes these quark create to thrive. They, they, they are part of those that, that actually are contributed to, to making the quark and uh, be possible. Because either you want to ask me why. Now, you need to understand that it is not everybody, every male that works in a hospital that is a medical doctor. Forget about the fact that he hangs a stethoscope on around his neck. That's not, in as much as I agree that a stethoscope is a symbol of medical practice. Everybody who hangs a stethoscope does not necessarily have the way without the terms of knowledge to attend to you either as a doctor or as even anybody. And I mean anybody. Now, it is not everyone who works in a chemist, every male who works in a chemist shop or a medicine shop and has a stethoscope around their neck that is a medical doctor. Now, if you have a dog, all right, who wants to be a dog, if you continue to call it a dog, it's going to try to back. Yes. And so what happens usually is that you see a male in a hospital and then you, this, spontaneously you begin to call him ad doctor as preface to the name Dr. Paul, Dr. Peter. Not because you, you know he's a doctor, not because he's introduced himself as a doctor really, but most times because you just feel he works in a hospital. You've seen him in the male world or in the world or in somewhere in the hospital, in the pharmacy, in the, in the lab, and then he becomes Dr. Henry. You know what I mean? And then by the time you call him Dr. Henry enough, a lot of people are going to hear you call him Dr. Henry. And then he begins to behave like Dr. Henry. That's what I'm saying. He's begin, he begins, every time he gets called Dr. Henry, he's, he's, he's assured that, okay, he's Dr. Henry. And when people come to him to want to ask him for ideas that, that looks like a, that, that a do, only a doctor can provide, he attempts to provide those ideas. All right, not as someone who has no no knowledge. He doesn't give you the, the idea, and and then says, "Oh no, but you should still find help because I'm only this." He gives you that idea as a doctor. So somehow the public has helped in creating that person. Uh, that's that that the quack that that person has become. A, a lot of people, because you see a male selling medicines behind the the counter in a, in a pharmacy shop or in a chemist shop or in a medicine shop whatever name you want to give to it you call the person doctor this doctor this doctor austin doctor austin doctor 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 emmanuel whatever and then before you know it he's begin to be like a doctor after all they even come to consult him they come to tell him i feel this i feel this what should i take and because he dispenses drugs he wants to sell all he does is to go there dispense the drugs and give to you he doesn't have the time to even explain to you that no, I'm not a doctor. Who cares? Why does he want to stop you from calling him what he ever, what he would have, would love to be in the first place? And so people hear you call him doctor, and he gives you paracetamol and whatever, adds ibuprofen, puts you all manner of things, and your pain, your body pains, um, are, are relieved. And so you, you, you are going to even tell somebody that the doc, that doctor in that 
in that chemist he tries it's good and then that's how it goes on it goes on until from dispensing drugs one day is probably going to attempt to even doing a surgery and that's what happens really so you see how what i mean when i say a lot of the time you contribute the public contribute to creating these quacks that that, that we have a problem with as a matter of fact there's, there's there's no doctor that actually sits behind a chemist shop dispensing drugs but you see every maid behind a chemist shop selling medicines you had turned to a doctor because he dispenses drugs he, he, pre, he gives to you whenever you go to him and then he has his test a stethoscope hanging around his neck the one that that's really is quite common and bothers me the most is the amount of people who hang his telescope on their rear mirror in the car that's that's what prompted this video because i was just driving around i'm seeing all manner of cars all manner of persons with telescope hanging on the rear mirror i don't know i, I think people actually hang cells on the rear mirror in a bit to evade the harassment from 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 to evade harassment from security agents and 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 what may all right but what i'm saying is that more than 90 percent of those cars that you see with telescope hanging on the rear mirror are no doctors a lot of them are, aren't nurses, all right? A lot of them can't even use this telescope that is hanging there. Come to think about it, all right? I, as a medical doctor, don't even have a telescope in this car. I don't have, not anywhere, all right? So, because why, I, I'm not going to need a telescope in the car. A telescope should be in this consulting room, right, in the office, all right? But these people will hang a telescope there, all right? So, why would I be trying so hard? Why should I try so hard to try to prove to you that I'm something that I am? So if you see that kind of scenario, most times they are in doctors. They're trying so hard to prove to you that they are, they are, they are doctors or that, that they are medical personnel who use the stethoscope. It is not so. As a matter of fact, I, I, I am being economical when I say like 90% of the time, these persons who hang stethoscope or the rear mirror are no doctors. Yes, and I'm saying that. And so to, to, to the security agents, let me just say this. So the security agents who really are genuinely suspicious of a, of a driver or of a vehicle, do not be carried away with the fact that you have a stethoscope hanging on, hanging there. Most times, they are even close. The closest they are to be, some of them are even just drivers to doctors. Others are barely relatives to doctors. Some, the closest they are probably technicians in hospitals and, and so on and so forth. They are really doctors. And now, to the doctors who hang those stethoscopes, I want to say, you are in a group that you don't want to be. You are, you are, you are, you are soon going to be categorized as oh most likely it's a quack so i want to advise that we could leave them all right leave leave them stop hanging your stethoscope you don't need that to prove that you're a doctor i know i know because i'm a doctor and i don't need to hang a stethoscope to prove to anyone that i'm a doctor i don't need to wear my scrubs and walk to the bank to prove to anyone that i'm a medical doctor i don't need to put the stethoscope on my neck when i'm not in a hospital and walking about to prove that, that i'm a medical doctor it, it's not necessary and i know for you too it's not necessary what i advise that doctors do that if you're still among those who have stethoscope on, on the rear mirror stop it all right because if we stop that if all doctors know that this is what goes on you don't it's that 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 group is where you don't want to be let's leave them by the time you leave the group you are the only reason why the groups have some credence so by the time you leave that group we will soon now know that 100 percent of the time if you find someone who's hanging a stethoscope on on the on the rear mirror of the car more often than not such a person is a quack it's probably not not anything even close to to medical practice all right i i i, I have decided i will do this video because i have seen people fall into the hands of quack i've seen complications arise from quackery and it's something that i think is terrible and it's something that we need to talk more about i think it's something that we need to put a stop to all right i hope that this video has not become too lengthy now if you are watching this video i want to thank you for being part of my community i want to thank you for subscribing to my video i know i don't give you as many videos as i would have loved to or as, as you would have wished to see but I, I, i'll keep trying and i and i and i hope that as you watch these videos that you learn the lessons all right i this point i want to yield my time but i'll say that you share this video keep subscribing and watch with someone and I, I, I believe strongly that your knowledge, headwise, will never remain the same. Thank you.